Tonight, the Kremlin saying it has no information on the health of staunch Putin ally Ramzan Kadriov. This after the head of Ukraine's Defense Intelligence Agency alleged that Kadriov, the Chechen leader who has been instrumental in Putin's war, was gravely ill due to kidney failure. Speculation about Kadriov's condition has been swirling. Unsubstantiated reports pointed to a possible attempted poisoning. And one Russian-language telegram channel with more than 200,000 subscribers even reported over the weekend that Kadriov has died. Now, there isn't evidence to support that. In, amidst all the speculation, Kadriov has come out with a video of himself walking in a garden. Uh, strangely, though, the Kremlin is, is not coming out with a public statement declaring health or anything like it for Kadriov. This is the same warlord who some experts say is a father-son-like relationship with Putin and has been instrumental in the war. It's a crucial because it comes, this mystery, as Ukraine says it is gaining even more territory on the battlefield. And tonight, Fred Plykin is on the ground out front. Ground combat in a place reduced to a wasteland by months of relentless fighting. So, so, so. Ukrainian forces released this video saying it shows their troops advancing near Bakhmut on the Eastern Front. They're coming, cover me, the soldier says, as machine gun fire rings out and later mortars rain down. The Ukrainians say their gains here are small but important, firing heavy weapons at the Russians, including rocket barrages from combat helicopters, Kiev trying to show they have the upper hand, a presidential advisor tells me. Let's not forget that we are talking about the army that everyone was afraid of only yesterday, he says. Today we're talking about a Ukrainian offensive in different directions. The Russians eager to show they are holding on. Russian state media releasing this video of Putin's soldiers in the ruins of Bakhmut claiming they'll hold off Ukrainian assaults. We can see them in the forest line, their trenches. We're working on those targets, he says. We shell them with our mortars. As Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky embarks on his visit to the U.S., both for the U.N. General Assembly but also to meet with President Biden and members of Congress, the Ukrainians are urging the U.S. to keep up its support saying aside from the longer-range Attackums tactical missiles to hit Russian supply lines, they urgently need a lot more artillery ammo as their forces are heavily outgunned even as they try to advance. Speaking to 60 Minutes, Zelensky highlighting the sacrifices Ukraine is making. We're defending the values of the whole world, he says, and the Ukrainian people are paying the highest price. We are truly fighting for our freedom. We are dying. A tough and slow grind on the ground as Kiev's military tries to inch forward, vowing they won't stop until they've ousted the Russians from all of Ukraine's territory. Fred, you know, your, your reporting showing the gains. I mean, Ukraine obviously making progress on the battlefield. It, can you put it in context? I mean, obviously all this started a lot slower than they had wanted, than, than, than the West had wanted. Uh, but now real gains. How significant are they? Yeah, you know, Aaron, the place that the Ukrainians have gained over the past couple of days, they really are actually two very small villages, especially that place Andrivka is also completely destroyed. However, the Ukrainians still say that those gains are very important. In fact, tonight, the commander of Ukrainian land forces, Alexander Sirsky, he came out and he said with those gains, the Ukrainians have managed to breach the defense line of the Russian forces for the town of Bakhmut. Now, the going there is still very tough. They say the Russians are launching counterattacks, but they also believe with gaining the territory that they have now, they will be able to hit Russian supply lines into Bakhmut. So on the battlefield, potentially very important. But then also, of course, for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, also very important to show the U.S. and other partners supporting Ukraine that the Ukrainians right now have momentum on the battlefield and are continuing to move forward. Aaron? All right. Certainly a message they want to send uh, this week. Uh, Zelensky's on the world stage. Thanks so much, Fred Plykin, uh, live tonight from Zaporizhia.